Today I'm going to show you how to, we're going to talk a little bit about how the horizontal laminar flow hood works and then about how to work with syringes and needles to drop a sterile product in a horizontal laminar flow hood. So what we have here is we have the, the base of the, the table and we have a screen and behind the screen is a HEPA filter, H-E-P-A. That filter filters the air in the room and it circulates it out horizontally towards you. So the air comes towards you and then it gets sucked up into the back of um, this filter and then it comes to you again and just keeps circulating around. It keeps the air flowing so there's no particles or microbial contaminants that stay in this space. Now as you get closer to the edge of the hood there does have some turbulence exist so we don't want to work at the edge of the hood near where you stand. We always want to work six inches in and today I have a ruler here to show you when there it is. So this little black mark is where you want to work beyond that so that you're in the sterile field. We won't always have a ruler in here but um, we will initially when you practice. So you can keep an eye on that until you get a really good idea of where the six inches is. And that is something they definitely will be looking for on the part three exam. So today we are going to draw up five mLs of sterile water. And I'm gonna show you the technique for putting the cap on, putting the needle on the syringe and how we draw it up and how we get rid of some air bubbles. So first of all, we have our, the, the tools we need, the product of the tools we need. You can put them on the hood after you gather them right on the edge so it's not within the sterile field and we're going to move it into the sterile field one by one. So first of all we're going to take the sterile water and we're going to put that into the sterile field six inches beyond. Then I want to put my syringe in there but I don't want this outside wrapper in there so I'm going to um, hold it up into the sterile area and just dump the syringe in there or you can actually just pull it out because your gloves are sterile and place it in there. Next thing, I need to put the needle on the syringe. Again, I don't really want this wrapper in that area, so I'm going to open it up at the end of the needles where the wrapper comes apart, and this is all sterile. I'm going to put on the syringe. Now, you have to be careful. This is where the hand-holding stuff, the te hand technique comes into play. The air is flowing towards you. You don't want to put your hand behind the needle or the syringe or any of this apparatus stuff because then it will block the flow of the air and put possibly you can get contaminants, um, dust and things in your preparation and you don't want to do that. So you want to be careful not to block the flow of air. So we open it up and we hold it like this. Then you pick up your syringe and either hand um, and this is going to screw on. So we put it the end of the needle onto the tip and then we just screw either the needle or the um, syringe onto it till it's snug. Um, you are going to need to be able to unhook it, so make sure you don't put it so tight that you can't unhook it, just slightly snug. Then we can get rid of this trash over outside the field. So now we have this um, syringe together. If you needed to put it down, you can. It's all sterile. So the next thing we're going to do is uncap our sterile water and um, wipe it with an alcohol pad. So we take the cap off. Put that back down and, and remove the cap to an, the non-sterile area. I'm going to open up the alcohol wipe and remove the trash to the non-sterile area. And then you're just going to wipe it off and remove the alcohol prep to the non-sterile area. Now we're ready to go. Now we want to do 5 mLs of this sterile water in the syringe. So you're going to pick up the syringe and note that it's a 10 mL syringe each of these is 1 mL. So we want to pull the stopper back to displace the air. So if you put the needle in here and just start to try to pull the fluid out, it's going to be really hard because there's um, air inside there. So we want to um, displace the air so the fluid can come out um, into the syringe. So you want to pull your stopper back to 5 mL. And I'm going to pull it a little bit beyond 5 mLs to make a point here. If you note, the, there's, the top is kind of cone shaped. You don't want it at the tip. Right, right now, the little point is where the 5 mL mark is. I actually want the, the large circle on the bottom that hits the plastic to be at 5. So I need to push this up a little bit to get it right at 5. And then that will be how I want to draw up the product. So now I'm going to uncap. 
and leave the cap in the sterile field because I'm going to I want to get that back on top of this needle later. So now I'm going to take the needle and there is a if you look at it closely there's a beveled end and I'm going to turn it so the bevel is up it's, so it looks like a slant it looks open and the point is to the left um, and then you want to put that right onto the stopper and enter it at like about a 45 degree angle. So the point is, the idea is that the point goes in there first and then the rest of the syringe goes in. Now you can either do one of two things, either um, just put your air in the bottle right now or you can pull it up and push your air in the bottle. Probably the easiest thing is just to push the air in, then hold the stopper with your thumb. Okay, so we just pushed the five mLs of fluid into the vial. Now we can tip the vial up and make sure the needle is down into the fluid and we're gonna just let go of the plunger and let it fill up there. If you want to speed it up a little bit, you can um, pull it down. So now actually I've pulled down past five, so that's more fluid than I need. And it looks like there is a little bit of a bubble and I'm gonna make a bigger bubble just so that you can learn how to get rid of the bubbles. So um, the way we're gonna get rid of the bubbles, we're gonna actually put more air. And if these tiny little bubbles then there, there's, that's not a problem, those are not of significance but if there was a big bubble here this is how you would do it you pull the air into the syringe and you tap on it until all the bubbles pop up to the top they will join the top bubble and then we're just going to go ahead and push it back up so there's no more fluid now make sure your needle is into the fluid and again we're above the five so i need to pull down more so the needle's in the fluid i'm going to pull down a little bit more Sometimes, yeah, it's easy to go be, take, pull down, and then you can go back up to where it is. Okay, there we go. So now I have five mLs in here. I don't have any bubbles that are substantial, so I'm ready to take off the vial. And again, we did not block the air. Just pull it out. Sometimes, uh, if there's a little bit of extra air in there, you'll get a couple drips of fluid coming out. That's not a problem. Um, we'll just clean it up later, but there is a technique we were, are going to use to avoid that when we work with hazardous drugs. What I'm teaching you now is just how to make sterile compounds with non-hazardous drugs. But when you have hazardous drugs like chemo, you do not want any fluid coming out at all um, because then it could contaminate you and cause you problems. So now we have the right amount. We have to cap the needle and get rid of that in the sharps container. And then if this were to go up to the nursing floor, we would have a special little cap that would go on here. We'd label it up and send it up to the floor. Now we are not going to pick up this cap and stick it on the needle. That's an accident waiting to happen. So we have to do the one-handed technique. So you wanna arrange the needles, um, the needle cap so that the opening is towards you. And you want to go and scoop it. Once the cap is on the needle, you can click it in. But do not put the cap on or touch the cap until it's on the needle. And now we just need to unscrew it, and then we can take this needle only and put it in the sharps container. And then if this were to go to the floor, we'd put a little cap on here, label it up. Um, for purposes of um, practice, we are going to put this whole syringe into the trash. It does not go in the sharps container.